a lot of people been wanting to check out the Nerdy Mobile, bro. So let's go check it out. It's your boy, Nerdy White Guy. Nerdy, nerdy White Guy. I'll put you in a motherfucking coffin, my guy. He's so dope. Nerdy White Guy. Nerdy, nerdy White Guy. My prayers got answered, dude. <laughs> this, this white dude. Nerdy White Guy. Nerdy, nerdy White Guy. We're gonna get this shit started, though. Nerdy gang. So here she is. This is my car. Few people have asked to see it. So here it is. It's just a little Camaro, man. Nothing super special about it. We got some of them slicks back there a little bit, those drag radials. You know what I'm talking about. Now I'm gonna end up starting this bitch. Just did an oil change. So tight ass fit, man. Hold on, man. Hold on, bro. Get in here. Oh hey. Got a little rumble to her. What are those? <laughs> yeah, man, so basically this is my, it's an SS, right? But the SS is kind of, were gutless in uh, the fifth gen, right? So I was like, dude, I need something a little bit more. So we actually got the blower um, off of uh, ZL1. And then, you know, we had to do a couple of things to it to have it fit and make sure nothing blows up on my ass. But Iron Thule from um, Thule Racing. They make some badass cams as well. I got cams, or I got a cam. Uh, basically, the top end is, is pretty well built. Lifters, uh, heads are rebuilt with new springs. Just basically everything to make it so it's reliable at about 600 horsepower to the tire. Now, I've not quite hit the 10 seconds. Now, I got my other dancing shoes over here behind all this other shit. So, we got some skinnies. Some skinny boys. I should have maybe brought them out so you guys could see them a little bit better. But, you know, weld racing, only way to go. And so we got the skinnies. We got the fat boys in the back. Those are also weld racing with some Mickey Thompson. Um, I want to say I got ET Street R's on there. Most I've gotten to fucking 10 seconds, bro, was like an 11. It was like an 11, dude, it was 11 and some tenths, right? So it was like 11.0, like 11.015 or something, dude. I was so close to tens. Um, so this year I didn't get a chance to go to the track at all. But yeah, man, once you see one Camaro, you kind of seen them all. Mine's the 2014 SSRS. So it's got like this wing and a backup camera and some other shit, but yeah. Now I haven't looked over that video yet, man, but I don't know if I really said everything that I wanted you guys to know about the ride, man, right? So I got the car in 2014. 
when I first got it, dude, it was super quiet, dude. It sounded like a V6. Uh, it had, like, these big-ass can mufflers on. I was like, fuck that. That's the first thing that I actually went, dude. I got long tube headers and motherfucking, uh, it was a Borla S-type cat bag with some high-flow cats and all that shit, right? And then I was like, dude, this just isn't quite enough, dude. So I was like, what type of supercharger should I get? I don't want to spend $10,000 on a supercharger, so I was like, okay, here's what we are gonna do. We're gonna go with the LSA conversion, which basically turns an SS Camaro into a ZL1. But with just that, I was like, man, it's gonna, like, in order for me to get a lot of fucking horsepower, I'm gonna have to push the PSI pretty high. So what about a cam, bro? So I started looking up cams, and I ran into a guy named Brian Tooley. Now, Brian Tooley, man, he does cams. He does the LSA conversion. He does all this stuff. He's based out of California, and this guy is a G, bro. Hooked up my car, dog, straight up. He gave me everything that I needed. It has been super reliable. I got all the work done probably when the car had like 4,000, 5,000 miles. Now it's at like 23,000 miles. Have had it for five years. I've beaten the fuck out of the thing. And uh, dude, it's, it's strong. Fucking love my car, man. I bought it brand new, dog. This Gen Camaro was my dream car. Now my dreams have gotten a lot bigger, of course, you know, because I'm not some kid in the hood looking at, like, the fucking dope-ass lime green ones driving by. That's why I fell in love with these cars, bro. It was the green ones. <laughs> yeah, man, so probably $13,000 later and, of course, the cost of the car. And it's sitting at where she sits at right now. Almost a 10 second quarter mile, not quite, bro. And that's with the with the babies up front and, uh, you know, the 305s out back. And, dude, it just, it's just a little bit more. I think I just need to add a little bit more timing and I'll, I'll end up getting there, bro. But hope you guys enjoyed that shit. If you guys did, man, please do not hesitate to stick around by smashing the subscribe button, smashing the like button, comment, share. All that shit matters. Sh sh tell me about your ride. Show me that shit on Twitter. Dog, let's get this shit going, bro.